So in this video, we're going to demonstrate joining stainless to stainless. If you don't want to weld them together because they're in a, a harsh environment, a chemical environment, uh, where there's the weld, in doing the welding process, you can reduce the properties of the stainless. We actually braze stainless together, so chemical op, um, applications and things like that. So what we're going to do here is join a piece of stainless tube to a piece of stainless plate. To use this, to do this, we're going to use um, our SP1 flux paste that we've demonstrated in another video on, on how to make it up into a nice uh, creamy paste. And we're going to use our Silver Braze 55T brazing rod. Um, before we do anything and start the brazing process, like all good practice, we have to make sure we get both the parts nice and clean. And we're going to use a bit of emery here just to make sure that we get rid of any oxides, any greases, any contaminants on the surface that will prevent the brazing alloy sticking. Actually doing it with an emery also gives it a nice key for the brazing alloy to stick to. Again, we're going to take the piece of stainless pipe and do the end of the pipe and give it a good clean. It's fairly clean stuff, but it's always better just to give it an extra final go, even if it's new stuff it's better to give it a good clean. And we also do a little bit on the inside as well. Just be careful with any sharp pieces or whatever that you don't want to be cutting your finger. So, that's mechanically cleaned it. We're going to use a bit of rag uh, and a little bit of solvent just to, to, to make sure we've got all of it, grease and anything residues on there taken away. You can see there's still a bit of something there so we'll give that a couple of rubs with that. Get that nice and clean and then we're going to do the same with the uh, with the tube. Cleanliness is the most important part in getting a good braze joint and then patience with the heat. So we've got our two bits of stainless and we're going to apply now to the middle. Okay, bring that there. Just put a blob of the flux paste, which is our SP1 flux powder mixed in with water, just in the middle where we're going to make the joint. We're going to paint round the outside of the stainless, just at the bottom there. The flux is acting as a chemical cleaner to make sure that the surface is kept oxide free and allows the brazing alloy to stick to the two metals. So we put that onto there like that. For this application, we're going to really push the boundaries of what we can do because the stainless needs to get pretty hot. Um, so we're going to use a, a readily available from Plumber's Merchants uh, gas tool, um, gas torch that um, will prove that you can do it. It takes a little bit longer. You have to be a bit more patient to make sure the whole thing's got up to a nice cherry red before you apply the brazing alloy, but we'll, we'll hopefully demonstrate that it can be done using a, a readily available torch. So before we even think about trying to apply the brazing alloy, we've got to get the thing warmed up. So we're applying the heat all the way round. You can see the water that's being used to make up the flux paste is boiling off and we, it's a good way of indicating where you're getting the heat. Don't mistake that for the flux actually activating. We need to get it a lot hotter before we get the flux activating. You can just see the outside of the stainless is starting to go a browny colour and you can see where the flux is that it's staying a nice clean white colour. But we've just got to keep going round and round with this to get the heat in, build up the whole heat. The brazing alloy will flow to the warmest part 
So if we don't heat up the tube, it will stick to the plate. And if we don't heat up the plate, it'll stick to the tube. So we've got to make sure we get plenty of heat in. And be patient. Now that's now got a, a glassy film, which is the flux actually starting to activate, starting to do its job, which also means that the materials are getting up to a nice temperature. We're looking for a cherry red. You can just see it starting to come. Just starting to come. What we're going to do is we're going to apply the brazing alloy on the opposite side to the flame and you'll see that the brazing alloy will get drawn round to the, where the heat source is. There we go. There we go. So you have to be patient. You see I knocked that then and it actually moved so that the brazing alloy was still liquid. So you have to be careful. So we're going to cool this off. Um, it's still very hot. We've got to be careful. You can potentially cause too big a thermal shock. But... Um, that should be all right now. The brazing alloy is cooled down to its uh, solid state and you can see it all the way around. We're then going to give it a good rub with a bit of emery just to remove any flux residues. The flux is a chemical cleaner and if we leave that on the joint it will actually start to corrode the joint. So we need to make sure we get rid of all the flux residue. You can use a wire brush, you can use other ways of cleaning it, um, polishing mops and wire heads on drills and things like that if you really want to, but realistically the joints sound enough, we just need to get rid of the flux residues on there and be happy that it's all cleaned off. So here we've got the stainless tube that we've brazed with the Silver Braze 55T onto a stainless plate. The joint should be as strong as the parent metals. Uh, so this is a good test to see how strong the joint is. Undo that, do the same on the other side, get it nice and close to the joint so we're stressing where the joint is. And at that stage, we've still got a nice sound joint.